But let's bring out Big Donut Energy! Uh, hi, uh, we're going to start every single scene as close as possible to each other. May I also get a suggestion from you? What are you passionate about? Cats! Gum disease! Gum disease was the loudest one, but I also heard cats and... Llamas. Llamas. So we're going to take gum disease as our top one, but we also have cats and llamas. Alright, we are Big Donut Energy. Thank you! <laughs> you need to take better care of your gums, Ron! I haven't flossed in four years! That's what you're for! I think I'm supposed to floss for you? I'm the dentist. You're supposed to tell me you floss. <laughs> no, I, I try to be as honest as possible. Okay, get in the chair. Ron, you haven't had a job in seven years! <laughs> I can't do this anymore! You're the only person that doesn't have a sense of smell. <laughs> My disgusting, rotting teeth, they're, they're not driving you away. No, but your disgusting, rotting work ethic is. <laughs> <laughs> I can see past the teeth. You're like Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Busted grill, but I'd still fuck you if I'm drunk enough. <laughs> That's what I love about you. You're here for the long haul, right? Ah, ah. Why leave now? I don't need a job, I have you! Because now we have the baby! <laughs> that bassinet was $300! <laughs> but you provided, and you got one for Jerry. It's, it's a miracle that I found you in my life. Baby Jerry deserves better. <laughs> and you deserve better. Exactly, that's why I'm having this conversation. <laughs> well, maybe I can become in, uh, go into a freak show. You are a freak show! <laughs> I love it when you talk dirty to me. <laughs> you freaky clown motherfucker! <laughs> Hi. Um, this is a freak show. Uh, these are my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it freaky? Are you sure this is worth 50 bucks? Yes, it is. Please give him $50. <laughs> okay. But like, you don't have us. Shut like, up. I'll give you $100 to pay you $50. <laughs> You're working, honey. <laughs> this is a great freak show. I, I yeah. loved it. Um, <laughs> you did it! We have money! Perfect! I can buy diapers now so our baby isn't shitting all over the carpet! <laughs> it's true. Anyway, I'm really glad that we earned this together. There's no one I'd rather go through this with. Because no matter what, I know you'll never leave me. And that's worth something. We couldn't. <laughs> no, wait. That hanging over my head. Just, we've come too far. It's just we're too close. Yes. It's just you and me now. Just this. And, and Jerry. And <laughs> Jerry. With his two ears. Yeah. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Good luck buying those diapers. Uh, see taken? This yeah, well, it's a pretty crowded bus, so mind if we share? Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> uh, Dan Reynolds. <laughs> Phil Buster. Phil Buster. Phil Buster. Wow. That's quite the name. Yeah. I, uh, my. God, this bus is crowded. <laughs> <laughs> Stopping again. Hi. Yeah. Dan, what, are you in uh, marketing? Uh, this a, is a card in your pocket. Yep, go ahead. Is my... there some space right there? Could I? Uh, oh, of course, yeah. please. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank Hi, you. Dan Reynolds. Oh, um, Beth. 
Beth, this is Phil yeah. Buster. Yeah, Buster. Yeah, Beth McKinley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. McKinley, yeah. Yeah. Wow. great name. That. Thank you. Yeah. Phil Don't Buster. Don't you own the bookstore down on Hawthorne? I do own the bookstore. You love feminist books too? I do. Uh -huh. I'm, a, oh I'm third wave all the way. Oh <laughs> it's always so nice to meet a fan. What was your name again? Uh, Dan Reynolds. Dan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, business card in my hand here. He's in marketing. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, I, Dan, maybe you could, you know, possibly give uh, Miss McKinley here some uh, more uh, marketing advice. Oh, right, because your signage sucks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, just, I'm from the East Coast. I tell it like it is. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, Dan. All right, I have fun sitting on their lap. <laughs> Dan, you drove her away. Oh, man. I have that effect on women, what can I say? Man in marketing. You can't even you can't even become a madman in this scenario? No. No, I'm not cut out for it. I tried doing the madman thing, but I just became an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good role model. First couple of seasons you're like, oh that guy's pretty cool. And then you're like, shit, I'm in too deep now. <laughs> Favorite character starts balding. Yeah. Starts cheating on his wife. Hey, stop talking about me like that. Dan, I just met you. Well, you know too much. <laughs> You're gonna just be like everybody else. You're gonna put earbuds in and drown me out. Oh, my Apple Watch. So, oh, this is my stop. Pleasure. Beth! See you at the bookstore! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like llamas, kid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm get you one for Christmas. This is like a reverse Santa. <laughs> Teacup, I, I do like llamas, but um, I... Just because my mom paid you to stay with me doesn't mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry to buy the lawn, spits and all. Oh, my gosh. I've always wanted to be spit on by a llama. <laughs> and it did it again. They say llama spits very nourishing. <laughs> Do you want some as well? No, no. no? Just rub it on yourself. Okay. Good. I could take some more. Oh, you, it needs food. Teacup, it needs food. That's, that's... <laughs> Billy, why don't you get, um, I don't know, what do you want to eat? Crackers? Cheese? The people! They, they eat fabric and they also eat hay, but, you know, my shirt will work if that's, if that's what it needs. <laughs> I mean, you could also take off these tights, and you could also feed it. <laughs> I think your shirt's more nourishing. Well, you're probably yeah. right. You're probably right. It's got enough nutrients in it. <laughs> oh, oh, a llama sneeze. We're in for a real treat. Oh. <laughs> Look at the hands. <laughs> delicacy in some cultures. Oh. <laughs> Teacup, this is amazing. I, I gotta add this to my stew. <laughs> so now you're even driving the llamas away. This is why you don't have friends. Do you know, that's why you're here. I know, Billy. Sit down. We're gonna work on how to get you some friends and maybe keep a llama. I don't get to keep the llama? No, it's not good. Oh, hey, Teacup, what are you in for? Well, you know, just, uh, stole a llama. <laughs> Grand larceny? Yes. That's... Not my first rodeo. Oh. Or a llama rodeo. <laughs> I love your sense of humor. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> what are you here for? In jail? Murder. Very cool. Cool. So, like, um, cool murder? No. <laughs> I took the wrong combination of medication. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I walked outside with an axe, and I thought the people were trees. Remember that? I was the lumber jill killer. <laughs> oh my god, that was you? Yeah, I'm a lumber jill. Wow. Uh -huh. But don't worry, I'm off the meds and there's no axes here. Yeah, it's really, really nice to meet you. Maybe when we get out of here, I can get like an autograph or a picture. I don't need a picture, I have all these memories. I can make you laugh in this jail cell. <laughs> right. Um, it's as far as you can get away from me in this tiny cell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. So, um... I'm sorry, am I making you uncomfortable? I'm pretty good at reading body language. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm cool. I'm doing great. Um... <clears throat> How long are you in the clink for? I don't know, I think long enough. That, that might take about three months. Oh, I only got two. For kids? Killing people with an axe thinking they were trees? Yeah, because, you know, in Oregon, they love trees, but if you fuck with those llamas, boy, you gotta come into it. <laughs> name there is. <laughs> Gary the Great. Gary the Hairy Monster Killing Man. <laughs> oh my god, it's a monster! No! Gary, kill it! <laughs> you take the sword. Uh, uh, show your face, devil creature! <laughs> You gotta kill it! Yeah, Monica. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. 
ever since I joined Lunchtime Yoga. <laughs> uh, listen, Monica, I just wanted to tell you something very special. Oh, bring it on. I'm an open book when I'm dancing. Ever since I met- Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, I, I just wanted to make sure that, that, that maybe that we could possibly be together oh. for, forever. Oh, and just boogie all night long? Yeah. All life long? All life long. Oh my god. Well, my last three marriages didn't work, so I'm sure this one will. <laughs> <laughs>